All right, start the damn video. Woo! Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video on my hair care routine for my blonde hair. I'm sorry that I wasn't here this past week. I know I made that whole New Year's resolution to post more and I did it because I was trying to get back into the swing of my workout. As you can hear from my voice, I ended up getting a little cold. Uh, I don't even wanna talk about it, but Let's be real, I needed to rest, I didn't rest, and I ended up having to stay inside all weekend. So today I'm finally feeling better. Thankfully it was only a three day cold, so bless up. But I'm gonna be giving you guys my hair care routine, and I just want, you know, it's a few things, but one, in the course of February till now, so almost a year, I've grown my hair about seven inches, and I wanted to show you guys how I did that, as well as how I'm gonna maintain my hair now that it's blonde and of course it's very processed and keeping it looking and feeling the way that it does now. So if you're interested in learning more, please be sure to subscribe down below. Be sure to follow me on Instagram as well as the blog and let's just get into the video. Let's get started with describing my hair type for you guys. So I did used to have slick straight Asian hair, but because I processed it, dyed it, highlighted it, everything you can imagine except perming it, it has begun to give me this little wave kind of crinkle going on and it definitely has a lot more texture and I find that that happens every time I dye it. But it is naturally straight, dry at the bottom, extremely greasy at the top. So I often lack a lot of volume around the root areas, um, back of my neck, just anywhere where the root is. I lack a lot of volume there. It gets greasy very fast. Um, so that is my problem area. And because of that, I usually have to wash my hair about three to four times a week. And I've cut this down significantly. I used to wash it every day, every other day. Um, but this is the way that I can find is the best along with my exercise routine. So because I do exercise three to four times a week, I try to make sure that I'm washing my hair with that because otherwise I get breakouts, acne, dandruff, you name it, it happens. So I try to make sure that, you know, even though it's important to not strip my hair, it's important for me to also be clean. So when I shampoo my hair, I shampoo my hair four times a week, like I mentioned. The first thing that I use is this Kiehl's Amino Acid Shampoo with pure coconut oil. Basically, it's just a gentle, mild shampoo. And if it's a day that I went to the gym and maybe the next day I'm going back to the gym, but at nighttime or something like that, I will only wash my hair once. So I usually do a double cleanse at the root area. I do not put any shampoo on the ends of my hair or anything like that, but I will double cleanse because usually there is just a bunch of gunk build up or I might have some product in it and I wanna make sure that I'm getting it all out. So I love to use this stuff um, either once or twice depending on the day, but I normally will just use that uh, once or twice a week. Now, because my hair is blonde and my hair pulls naturally orange, I wanna make sure that I'm keeping it this natural blonde color. And by doing that, I'm using the Not Your Mother's Blonde Moment Shampoo, and then I also have the conditioner that I just recently bought. This stuff is purple. Like, it will dye your hands purple. My hands were purple this morning, but they're not there anymore. Um, so what I like to do with this is wash that first part, um, first part, the first wash, and I'll leave it on while I do everything else. So I'll wash my body, I'll do a shave, um, maybe I'll put a face mask on, whatever. So I try to make sure that at least five minutes goes by with this in my hair, because I find that that will tone it enough to where I can either do it once a week or twice a week, but not as long. So I'll do that one wash and then I'll wash it again, obviously not leaving it in, just that second wash, just so that my hair can get really clean. This has helped me keep that natural blonde color that I have and keeping my hair from turning extremely brassy. You can find this at Target for about $8. Highly recommend it if you're looking for a blonde shampoo. It's sulfate free um, and paraben free and it's meant for a natural or color treated. So win-win. For conditioner, I use the Hair Aid and Grooming 133 from Kiehl's. These are all reusable bottles. So that's why I don't have the actual bottle with me. I love this stuff. 
Um, it's very soft, very soothing. You can use it to shave, you can use it on your hair. I love to use it on the ends of my hair. It makes them very soft, very shiny, and I really do think that this has helped. This with the shampoo has helped contribute my hair to growing longer, growing stronger, and a lot less split ends. So in terms of hair care products that I use, um, I don't really use a lot. A lot of the times, like today, this is just my natural hair that air dried, but on other days when I can't do that, um, sometimes I will use some products. So the three that I like to use are right here. First, the Living Proof TBD Multitasking Styler. I like to use this to add a little bit of wave to the ends of my hair. Um, just add a little bit of texture on a day where maybe it's, I wash my hair at night and I dried it, and then in the morning I woke up and wanted to have a little more volume. This is great for that. You can use it to uh, blow out your hair, you can use it to tame flyaways. I just like to use it for the wave essence because there is a little hold and it smells really good. The next thing I have from Living Proof is the full dry volume blast. I really like this stuff. I like to use this instead of a dry shampoo because I find that dry shampoos make my scalp uh, really dry. They peel, dandruff, all of that. And I found that that was really causing a lot of hair loss because my scalp was so dry. So I completely cut out using dry shampoo. I miss it, trust me, as an oily skin gal. But instead, um, I like to do those slicked back hairstyles. So I'll do a low bun or I'll do a high bun. And people literally think I put product in my hair, but no, it's just my natural grease. So love that. But I do like to use this um, on second day hair if I need a little boost or if I just want a little bit more volume when I curl my hair or something like that, this is great for that. The last product I have is the Shea Moisture 100% Pure Argan Oil Head to Toe Smoothing. This I bought and you know, for an oily haired gal, it's really difficult to use any sort of oil on your hair just because it just makes your hair, especially if yours like mine, which is a medium to fine uh, thickness, it can really cause my hair to gunk up, get stringy, too oily if I just put a little too much. So I use this actually as a mask and let's say my hair is on day two or day three so it's up already in that bun and it's greasy but the ends of my hair is still really dry. I will use this, put this on the ends of my hair and then go do a spin class or I'll go do a workout and then once I wash it out my hair will be so soft, so nourished, it's crazy. I only use about one or two pumps of it and just brush it through my hair and you guys, game changing. I highly recommend you guys use this or any oil if you do have dry ends like I do. Okay, the last two things I'm gonna talk about are my hairbrush and my blow dryer. So hairbrush, I use the detangler brush from Wet Brush. I love this thing, I've had it for years. It's really great at detangling my hair, keeping it soft, but not yanking it out. So I really do like that. It helps with tangles, it helps with knots. I like to brush my hair out of the shower as well as, you know, throughout the day. Ooh, I got a little few tangles up in there. So because my hair is straight, it does tangle pretty easily. So I like to go in, you know, throughout the day, brush it out, make it nice and soft. And for my blow dryer, I use this Conair Infinity Pro in this nasty goblin green color. Uh, I've had this thing for 10 years maybe. It works amazing. This thing is like insane. Like insane. It will blow dry your hair in like eight minutes flat. It's crazy. Um, but one thing I did want to mention is that I used to blow dry my hair all the time. I'm talking like every time I wash it, every single time, start to finish completely dry. And now I've come up with a way to do it so that I'm not putting that much heat on it. And that's what I think has caused it to grow the seven inches that I do have in less than a year. The first thing is that I only fully blow dry my hair if I absolutely have to. So it's usually on the weekends before maybe a birthday or I'm going out or you know, there's, I just don't wanna wait for it to dry or I have an errand to run. So I usually only blow dry it fully from start to finish once a week. And I swear that that has completely changed my hair and I don't use any other styling tools. Like maybe once a month I'll curl my hair, but you guys, that is it. This is the like method to the madness, a good hair oil mask, gentle shampoo, conditioning your hair and low heat. If you take the heat off your hair, it'll grow so much longer, so much stronger. And like, I really, really do think that that's helped 
my hair, as well as just like the look of it, the feel of it, everything. So highly recommend that. If you can get away with it, do it. So I love to do heatless hairstyles during the week for work because I have no one to impress there. Like it is not a dating pool there. Like I'm not trying to look hot. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you all very soon. Be sure to subscribe down below. And until next time, 